something else will happen. I can't tell you what, but you'll be happy. What do you mean? What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. Just the other day, Iron Maiden released their thank you video for what was a fantastic 2023 run of the Future Past Tour. And at first, it seemed like just that. A thank you video, a little something, something from everyone in the band, and maybe ending with a, we'll see you next time, or we'll see you somewhere on tour. But instead, we get this. Something else will happen. I can't tell you what, but you'll be happy. Now let's be real for a second. Bruce loves screwing with fans, and he knew exactly what he was doing when making this. So he's clearly hinting to something new and different for 2024. So today we're going to go through some of the theories I've read and what I personally believe that this is. Let's get right into it. So starting off with what we know and where we are right now, the European leg of the 2023 Future Pass Tour is over, and they'll be hitting up West Coast Canada in September, followed by the Power Trip Festival in October. And that's going to wrap up 2023. So that much we know. But, and then come the rumors and the conspiracies. So the first one I'm reading a lot is there's going to be a new Iron Maiden studio album coming out next year for the Future Past Tour. So it'll still be Somewhere in Time and a brand new album. Now, as much as I believe that Sinjetsu won't be the last Iron Maiden album we're going to get, I don't think that Sinjetsu is going to be dropped from the Future Past Tour. I think that album's sticking around for a while. But I do think that there's a possibility of that. So Iron Man is going to have a pretty big break between now and even their next shows, but now and when the tour is really going to fire up next year. So they do have plenty of time to go write a new album. And as much as the Future Past Tour is the Summer in Time retrospective tour, it is also the Senjutsu Tour. So I don't really see Senjutsu being completely dropped from this tour in favor for a new album, although it would be a really, really bold move. Another one being... Summer in Time is going to be dropped in favor for Power Slave, since it'll be at the 40th anniversary of Power Slave. Very cool. Again, I don't see it happening. Purely because Power Slave has already got its retrospective tour, and they've never really done that in the past. Also, everything to do with the stage right now is Summer in Time, so they'd have to go scrap the current stage and all the eddies and completely restart with all Power Slave stuff, so I don't see that one happening. Although, maybe a setless change with one or two Power Slave songs slipped in could happen, but we'll get to that later. Next up, a Iron Maiden cruise. So hopefully I can find the evidence for this, but if I did, it's on the screen. But what I've heard about this is a Iron Maiden cruise that will have Blaze, Bruce, and Paul doing their solo stuff on it, along with Iron Maiden. This sounds super cool. I would be absolutely there. I don't think it's going to happen. Iron Maiden really isn't for kind of the gimmicky stuff like this. Now, they're smart enough. They know it would sell out completely and it'd probably be a lot of fun. And despite it would be very different, and it would give Iron Maiden an opportunity to go play Sajetsu in its entirety like they poked at in the past, I don't know if this is what's going to happen. A lot of bands have done it. I don't see this as being a real big Maiden thing. Another one being, they will announce that this is their retirement tour. Get over it, it's not happening. People keep whining about the fact that they're aging and they're getting old and it's gonna end soon. Honestly, they're happy on stage. It's clear they haven't been this happy on stage in what appears to be a while. And as long as they're performing well and happy on stage, they're not gonna wrap it up. So for all those guessing that, move on. And yes, I'm completely aware of all the issues Nico has had. I've even made a video on it. So I don't see that being a true factor towards what's going to come out of next year. Another one being a new Flight 666 tour. And truthfully, I think this one is very plausible. They haven't done a Flight 666 tour since 2016. So it's had a pretty big gap and it's kind of a big cool event when they do this. It's not just doesn't mean they can bring this show literally wherever they want. It always kind of brings this cool element to the tour because you now have fans kind of going to the airport to get a glimpse of the plane landing. And I think it's very plausible. Now, do I think that it's a big, huge change? 
Honestly, no. I think it very well could happen. I don't think that it's the thing that he's trying to hint at, though. So what do I think it's going to be? At its core, I think this is going to be primarily a North and South America announcement, and that could very well lead to a Flight 666 tour going across the planet. Now, they've already done Europe, so I don't see Europe being a huge focus, although I think there are going to be some European shows, maybe someone like Donington. So I think it's going to be a Future Pass tour announcement for 2024 going everywhere. Along with that, I think there is likely going to be a set list change. I don't think they're going to go too crazy on it. I think we're going to see at most three to maybe four songs changed. And if I were to do that, I think it would be Death of the Celts for the Parchment, maybe The Trooper for something like Sanctuary, The Prisoner for maybe Two Minutes of Midnight. And as I've said in the past, I'd love to see Can I Play the Madness drop for Future Rail. Maybe if we all scream loud enough, we'll see Fear of the Dark drop for Rhyme of the Age of Mariner. I'll hold my breath for it, though. But along with that, Bruce has acknowledged that fans want to hear Rhyme of the Age of Mariner. So getting a set list that has some of the epics from Sinjutsu, Alexander the Great, Kotsumer in Time, and Rhyme of the Age of Mariner, he knows would make fans happy, and he knows it'd be a pretty big change to the set list. So again, I'm not holding my breath for it, but that's something that could very well happen. So along with those, I think the one other thing that they could do is perhaps they do a UK show that would be a Maiden Fest. So kind of stealing this from a cruise ship idea, but perhaps get Paul Diano and Blaze Bailey and Dennis Stratman all playing together at this festival. And along with some of the other bands that Maiden tends to like to tour with, and some bands that might just be sort of friends of them. So anyway, those are some of my theories towards what this might be. But I want what do you think? Do you think it's going to be a new album? Do you think it's going to be a giant setlist change? Do you think Iron Man's playing in space? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you've seen. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.